Hello my shinies, my name is Sevenico47 Welcome back to some more Gloomhaven Okay, so we went to the Drake's Nest in the previous episode And now we unlocked the Ancient Sister Because our friend, the Alchemist, helped us in for, uh, into making a an item For us to breathe underwater So then, after we you know, presumably take it from her. We decided to uh, use it and go underwater in order to solve Gloomhaven's poison problem. So yes, as it says here, ancient, the scenario is called the Ancient Cistern. Swim into the cistern's depths and remove the poison source. Core quest. Okay, so we'll be facing against black imps, living corpse, night demon, and oozes. Uh, monsters we have faced before in the past and I believe <sighs> you know uh, of all of them they are annoying yes but living corpse is the least of our problem sure it can hit hard but this one is the most problematic this one could be the most problematic this one is not that much of a threat but can be devastatingly annoying if left unchecked if left unchecked okay so we have already prepared uh, last time in the previous episode So yeah, we can just go right ahead and go Right, let's travel Let's get it over with and In theory, we should be clearing this scenario relatively easy as well The water grows dark, black as a cloudy night sky I'm going to You cannot see your hands paddling in front of your face But you press on before too long, you spot a light in the distance. There we go. I'm sorry. If you want to read all of that, you can just skip. Oops, not skip. Uh, pause the video. Okay, we don't care about battle goals. Right. Okay. Let's just enter the dungeon. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, it looks as cool as it is disgusting. <laughs> Great art. Not going to lie. It's very cool. I mean. In an action adventure, gritty, hardcore, combat ish world, it's, it's a place I really do want to to go to. <laughs> because, yeah, let's just say I'm a fighter. I love uh, combat like this. Gritty combat games like, you know, Dark Souls. Oh, I love it. This one is just the, uh, the turn based combat, which I do enjoy. Okay, round one. Very easy. Let's just actually ignore the elite for now. I'm just going to kill something. Then we're going to generate elements for him. So that we can kill that thing. Okay, so I know exactly what to do. She is going to pull this one there. For kill. He is going to go up there kill that thing. Like for example, like this. Um, Song of Speed, and then, hmm, 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 mobilizing measure and booming proclamation. I think it's best. She can swap bomb in this issue, but she's kind of slow. Okay, so mobilizing measure, 
Ash. So, kill. She is going to. All of them are slow, like so. Yep, not a problem at all. Here and then no, the, the, no this and that she that and that why do I even need to use this okay, what it's fine uh uh yes here uh huh here there here there everywhere That's the thing. It can just die by itself, but no. Okay, so pulling this right there. Right then. You are Jesus. none of your allies. None of your allies can help you. And therefore you die. Morbid, I know. Uh, now I can actually consume and then visage. But but I'm just going I'm just not going to, I'm just going to move and then like long con or something. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that thing is actually stunned from her. So, yeah. so that's why it just stood. In that case, long con and the flare bit. Is going to do. Um. Lurking room swallowed by fear. She is going to be doing that and this one. Uh, this one first or this one first? Mm, I'll go with. I actually want to do this one first, actually. But, ah, uh, she's already attacking, never mind. Okay, fine. Melody, and then song speed, and then this one. Okay, it's actually... <sighs> doing that annoying attack again. Which I will prevent by outright killing it. Skip movement, confirm, then... Spin to win! <laughs> Visible, nice. Poison, pierce, good. 
Wow. Times two. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Okay. Um, open. This one's about to die. I don't have invisible. I can. I can do open room and hidden daggers to kill. So I guess I'll just end my turn. Okay. Cursing two of those and blessing both of our allies. Cleanse all water pumps. Wait a minute. I, I didn't actually check <laughs> our objectives. Mercer. Oh, okay. Um, cleanse all water pumps. Mercenaries adjacent to a water pump may forgo the bottom action of an ability card to cleanse the pump. Okay. All mercenaries start with three curses. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright. Uh, simple enough. Grabbing the gold because money is important. And then assassinate this ugly bastard. Then uh, we're not generating any other. So I am actually going to bring back this. Strengthen. Hook. It's left side. Let's see if we can. Very Two, three. Hmm. Should we open the door? Okay, uh, I think I know what to do. I'm going to skip movement, grabbing this gold. And then I'm going to consume major stamina potion. Mobilizing measure and moving proclamation. I'll, I'll see if I need to bring back this orienting dirge or not we shall see in the next turn now I might actually use my boots Let's see. nope I don't need to good and right there is the elite demon perfect we just kill him yep and these things are not going to divide again just wait. Okay, move attack. I'm sorry. Move four, attack four. Move five, attack five. Okay, so here's the strategy. This one, there's a an obstacle right here. Yes. So here's the deal. 
if I'm just saying, if I stop here, if I end my turn right there, uh, this invisible character counts as an obstacle. So all of these, if they have movement, they're just not going to do anything. They're just going to end their turn. But if I move here and if I kill this thing, these guys know that there's an enemy right here on target. So these guys are going to move four, like one, two, three, four, towards her or any character that is not invisible, right? But Here's the thing, if I go here instead, right, that means after I kill this thing, to just generate an element, right, if I kill this, that, convert any element and turn it into darkness, that is actually, okay, but I'm already generating darkness. Anyways, as I was saying, so, now that I killed that one, this one is going to move forward. One, two, three, four. See, what that means is that I can kill this one next time. And that is the beauty of uh, puzzle games like this. It actually counts as a puzzle. But here's the thing I may not actually kill them because I really need to kill this one. But you know what? I'm actually just going to end my turn because I'm going to kill this one next turn. Then I'm going to go there and kill that. So with my current cards, I can do something like Black Arrow Bot to one visible, and then I do... I need Spirit to kill this. Uh, yeah, which I will do. Confront target, to bring back Spirit of the Night and Swallow by Because even if I generate an element now, oh, I forgot to go invisible. <laughs> I mean, okay then. Whoops. Because if I generate an element right now, it's just going to consume it and then generate. Ha! Huh, times zero. Good. Good. And, and burning oil, and then mobilizing measure, and moving proclamation, as discussed earlier. Okay. Ah, of course, I knew it. You are so annoying. Uh. Yes, I think I have no choice but to go there. Or should I say, do it like this? Unfortunately, I didn't stun the ooze. But I, have, but I did stun that one. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to push. Actually, I think I have to. Right, you know what? I'm just going to push you there. I'm going to skip push everything. Now, yes. Now, at this point, I do want to bring back this orienting dirge. But I think Provoke Terror is actually is going to be the most important card. Kill this one because it has more HP. Visible. Okay. Uh, now, right, I have Angel of Death and Swallowed by Fear. This one is disarmed. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to generate that darkness or not. I'm just going to end my turn. Yes, it actually did generate darkness for me. Hmm. I have to do this, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to use my rocket boots. Move all the way there. Skip ability because I, have, I, I cannot kill anything. Now, I am going to save this explosive. 
So I'm going to hit this one here. Okay, that means it's going to take one damage and then it's going to generate one ooze with one HP, right? Uh, and then this one is going to split, then he can kill the elite one. Meanwhile, I'm just going to consume, bringing back both Long Con and Flurry of Blades. I may want to consume that miner stamina potion next turn. There we go, good. I can long on this. Oh, of course. Okay, um, yep, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. I have smoke step. Now now that we have now nah, exactly. This is one of those moments where we actually value jump or flying. So me deciding to by the rocket boots in the previous episode proven to be um, one of the best decisions I made because right now I want to jump over there and kill that one unless somebody can kill like this one or this one and give way for me to go there okay so first of all disorienting dirge and provoking terror now unfortunately we're going to have to leave this night demon alone which is, to be honest, very scary because there's a chance that it is going to either get rid of this element or it's going to consume my darkness in order to go in this way, which is very not ideal. Which is why I hope that she can move first to stun it in case it's going to do anything to disrupt my elements. Or, and if it's not, then I'm just going to stun one of these. Just in case, if it you know attacks or splitting. So now this I'm going to do that. This this and this. Uh, actually, no. <laughs> I chose the wrong cards. I chose the wrong cards. Smoke step and swallow by feet. Okay, let's go. Please. Okay, there we go. See, it's actually going to consume the darkness, and it's faster. This is actually very, very bad. Very bad. But, again. Oh, I need to be there. Okay, well. Yep, I'm just going to. Oh, okay, this one is dead. Hopefully, I can kill this one. Skip movement. Plus two. There is still a chance that I roll into a critical fail, dealing zero damage on nothing. Which is why I somewhat hate rolling modifiers. See, the thing is, I roll with advantage, getting this and this, which means because of this, it rolls into another attack modifier. So, it appears plus one, plus one, plus five. Oh, actually, no, it, it ignores this one to get this one. So, Pierce plus one. So, five plus one with Pierce equals to six damage. And if I actually roll like this, like Pierce roll into a times zero, it will deal zero damage, which is stupid. Very stupid. Is going to consume my darkness so my decision is right on the money right on the money and there we go i'm just going to end my turn it is stunned therefore it cannot 
uh, what you call it? Uh, consume my dark, my darkness. So then I can just go here. I'm going to jump all the way there. Skip movement. I'm going to generate wind. Because I can consume both dark and fire. Kill the mutants. There we go. Now we have Angel of Death and Grim Sustenance. So we don't need to um, consume potions. Now we have two enemies left on the field. So now, hopefully, hopefully, initiative of 29 is enough, is fast enough to kill this thing before it goes invisible or something. Okay, let's just do that now. Uh, let's hope for the best. Okay, good. But it is actually attacking, or should I say, doing heavy damage. And it's actually going to consume my darkness. But again, Night Shroud is faster, which is a which is you know a good thing. Okay, good. She is actually. Huh. But I don't really want her to take the chest. Hmm. I can take it shoot but hmm. let's see huh uh, should I actually shoot this thing no uh, if I should attack with this advantage oh I have an idea I'm just going to use my goggles A bless. <laughs> cool. There we go. So then I can just go here, confirm, end my turn, and I'm going to long rest over there. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to use this. Plus one to all attacks. Now I am going to move this. Consuming my boots because I am actually going to do a long rest as well. All of them are going to go long rest. Right, so I'm going to go here, take the gold. Seven is a long rest turn. I'm going to probably yeah, just going to remove black arrow. She is going to um, burn, spring the trap. It's most likely we don't need it. Now this might be the boss room, or maybe this one, not this one. So yeah, uh, throw voice can go. We have enough uh, let's actually play that beautiful tune and bring back both of our stamina potions. And her turn, and that's it. Round eight. Now I may do this again, or swallowed by fear and unseen dread. I'm not sure. Maybe like this. So I suppose I have to make her consume her major mana potion. As for her, long conflict blades is actually a good idea. Or how about no, not smoke bomb. Too early. Flurry of blades and burning oil is actually very good. So no, actually, maybe hidden daggers and burning oil. Nah. Flare blades, burning oil, let's go. Okay, so let's actually open the door first. Following the signs of corruption, you find your way into the final room of the chamber, hoping to finish off the rest of your adversaries quickly. Instead, horror invades your mind as you view the scene before you. Ah, oh, 
there's so many traps. I could have used it. I mean, you know, spring the trap and then hit the enemies with it. Oh, oh man. Oh. Well. Four water pipes stand vertically in the back of the room. Clear conduits for the pumping of the city's water. Attached to the pipes, however, are writhing black masses, poisoning the water running through. When you enter, some of the black mass drips down from the pipes, coalescing into the forms of small, bulbous imps with mouths full of teeth. The horde of demons and undead isn't exactly a welcome sight either. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's going to consume darkness to do model. Okay, it's not going to do anything other than attacking range 5. Ooh, 1, 2, 3, 5. 1, no. Five. Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so all the way here is unsafe. I think I can just shoot this one to disarm it. Unless I want to get attacked. What about this thing? Okay, good. It's not even going to attack me. So, one, two, three, four. Here, I'm safe. So, therefore, I'm going to go there. Let's move my gopher. This thing. Poison. Uh, this one, right? Yeah. Good thing I remember this one. Okay, so where are the water pumps? This one, right? Okay. Spawner? What? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Mercenaries adjacent to a water pump may forego bottom action. Oh, oh, this is bad. We need to stop the water pumps before it spawns something. Oh dear. Okay. So, yeah, I forgot. Actually, we can just, like, attack uh, this ugly thing because we are actually going to kill that thing. But, you know. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to go there. Skip movement. Generate. Oh, uh, they are done. Kill this thing. Now, what should I do? Okay, it's not going to consume my darkness my darkness because it has nothing it, it has no targets now what should I do let's see if I generate to both elements and if I bring back swallow by fear as well as unseen dread I can kill something up there possibly the night demon though. I don't have boots anymore so one two three four five six I can only kill this thing or that thing so should I just end my turn? Should I generate darkness? Whose turn is next? Her. Okay. If she moves there, it might be a bad idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. He's going to end his turn. Good. To do that, yes. I can even. Oh, this is beautiful. I can even push them into the traps. Oh, 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 oh. Trap. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Then, yes. <laughs> Whew. Wait, oh, no. Stop. Oh. Game, why you do this to me? There. Okay, good. Phew. Wait, I'm jumping. What am I doing? Well, it doesn't matter because I'm doing that anyways. Confirm attack. No return means I am safe. Which means I can... I can... Uh, 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 skip push. Then I'm, sp I'm pushing you there. There you go. You are now stunned. You. Ooh. Ooh. Just push you there. 
this. Uh, I have this orienting dirge, yes. So, I'm just going to end my turn. Okay, so whatever comes out of the water pump, I can just disarm. <laughs> what kind of strategy is this? It's so... Wow. This is so cheating. <laughs> But I don't care because this is legit. I'm not doing any. I'm not cheating by any, any means. This is completely legit. This is allowed. Now I may want to visage. If I can, one, two, three, visage. But what is he doing? Okay, maybe prepare for the kill and then wait. I didn't even. In that case, uh, Angel of Death. Hmm. Angel of Death, because I need to kill this thing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Because of Song of Speed. Yes. So, then I can do maybe Brute Sustenance. Sustenance, Angel of Death. I'm thinking of doing this. And then maybe I can bring off haste. And then, uh, you know, uh, use it to deactivate the, sp the, the water. Oh, actually. I can just make somebody go, you know, like for example, I don't actually need to kill all these enemies. I just need to forgo a bottom action to cleanse, and that's it. We should win. So. At least next turn, if they want to go invisible, well, guess what? You can't. You can't. Uh, yeah. He is going to consume the dog to kill that thing. Okay, so I need to just consume my starter potion to bring back the supporting dodge. That one's actually too far away. Wow. Okay, in that case, uh, I think I need to use my Ring of Haste to cleanse the water pump. 
because that is that is terrible. Okay, uh, so uh, lurking ruin swallowed by fear. So move here, invisible. Swallowed by fear, kill this thing. Ring of haste, cleanse the water pump. Somebody needs to take care of that thing. So I think this orienting dirge and provoke terror should be the solution. So disarm everything. Uh, stun that thing and then she can do long con open yeah go here spin to win and probably paint an external or something I kind of need to bring back burning oil don't I yeah I guess I can do that next turn open wound Ooh, I can, wow. Yeah, sure, I can do that, yeah. Okay, let's just do that. Let's attack. I actually want to use this thing. Yeah, like that. Okay, just do it. Ooh, bless. healing but you know oh man all right i don't actually need to stop that i actually want it to come close which means you know i'm just going to try and stop this one i mean it's friend but still heal it right but thing is I can, or should I say, I have paints and to kill it, so I don't really care if it heals, as long as it, as, al as long as its allies, you know, doesn't collectively heal that thing. Okay, so move here, moving here, skip movement. only elite so yeah fine darkness and let's just go with ice it's fine now all of them are just going to heal themselves so i don't need to go invisible i mean i'm already invisible so we don't need to do that see My decision to bring back both elements is good because now I can just kill it. My gosh, look at all this mess. Shock rest. Fine, just do it. Shock rest. As long as it's not long con or burning oil. Flurry of blades, okay. Okay, good. This is good enough. Uh, what I'm going to do is. Going to be doing unfortunately I'm going to be doing hit that thing and then burning oil. Okay. And then prepare for the kill. No, too far. Actually no. One, two, three. Enough because of Sauron's speed. Okay, kill that thing. And then I'll oh. oh boy, here we go. Oh, this is terrible. Oh wait. I still have one more turn. Shield 5, heal 1. Oh, so annoying. Well, thank goodness I'm doing hit that. Look at this, shield 5. What the heck? Yeah, 
Yeah, again, I don't actually need to kill them. I just need to cleanse. Let's see. Times two, times two. Good. Times two. Ah, it's the shield that prevents them from dying. That is so annoying. Wow, look at all this mess. Okay, no choice. I mean, I'm not going to lie, this is still easy, I can just simply win this scenario, like no problem, but it's the, the chest that I want. Fine, just... Yeah, go on. Move zero, attack three, range. Oh, I can actually go up there. Oh, wow. okay. Skip movement. Shield kill. Let's go invisible. Okay, there we go. Skip attack. And everyone's invisible, so one of the most skips their turn. Long con and this. Yes. Uh, disorienting dirge and booming proclamation. He is 
long rest. HP or dead. shouldn't have used Brooming Proclamation actually. Because you know, um, then I have the option to disarm things again. So yeah, mobilizing measure, provoke terror. Long rest, it's fine. Uh, now he, he is actually going to Forgo his bottom uh, bottom action. Smoke smoke step. Yeah, like this. Go invisible and smoke step. Luck you too. <laughs> oh, I, she should have. She should have consumed that mana potion. Oh, I can just forego a bottom action without actually consuming the card. Ah, whatever. Invisible, so now they are your problem, scoundrel. Mobilizing measure and provoke terror to take this, generate element for him, prepare for the kill, swallowed by fear, long con, and message. Here and woo, spin to win. Good. I believe there's an, an eight gold pile somewhere here. Well, oh well. But I can go here. Ooh. This is very speed. I forgot the pump. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. Oh, well, 
let's just let her generate elements instead of the suits. Here. Yep, so just put it there. Take the chest and the long rest again. What do we get? Ooh, volatile bomb. Huh. That's, yeah, that's good. For the next range attack, it deals wound and stun or something like that. Okay, so let's just... Oh wait, the, none of them are attacking actually. Well, fine, I'll just... I want to be there. Scoundrel! Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to restart the round. Because now that I know, all of those imps are not actually attacking. We're just going to yeah switch places. Now I'm going to loot, short rest, loot, and then scoundrel can just short rest and just finish the scenario. I apologize that this is taking just a little bit longer, but it is for the best, I assure you. Uh, Angel of Death on Sea Dread. Yep, and then this. Okay, now she is going to move. Uh, she just going to shoot. Wow, her range is this far. <laughs> All those rolling modifiers and then ending it. With a bless. Definitely what I call a, a cherry on top. Strengthened and bugger. Okay, come on. Nitro is going to jump. Exactly what I need. So we draw. Let's burn that one. Okay, so root one is the one I want. If 
only I can kill this and he can do it. But fine, I'll just attack that one. There we go, victory. Easy. By the time the fight is over, the walls and floor are a mess of black ooze. None of it's pulsating anymore, though, which is a step in the right direction. A simple mop can clean the remnants, now that the dark presence has been removed. You approach the back wall and bemusedly wipe away some of the grime with your finger. Most of it comes off easily, but a chalky black streak remains. Mm, disgusting. Curious. You take your sleeve and begin wiping the wall more vigorously, quickly revealing some sort of runic language. With enough cleaning, you find lettering covering the entire back wall. The letters are unrecognizable, but you jot them down and head back to town, bringing the writings to a language expert at the university. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that, that scenario is actually very fun. It's annoying how it keeps spawning the black imps but and you know preventing us from trying to cleanse it you know cleanse the water pump but again we have jumps and flying so yeah very easy at least to me it's part of a ritual says a bespectacled quattro, staring down at your crude writing. I am not myself entirely familiar with the specifics, but it seems to be a ritual to Wellspar, uh, corrupt. I believe such corruption would require the use of a conduit. The quattro peers even more intently at the writings. Ah, here, something referred to as the artifact, housed at the Temple of Elements. The quattro rushes over to a bookcase overflowing with texts. Ah, interesting. I've heard of that before. He disappears behind a large stack of tomes. Ooh, the Temple of Elements. We already completed that scenario. Yes, the Temple of the Elements. His head pops out above the books. The Temple of the Elements, said to house the Vessel of the Elements, a powerful ancient artifact capable of giving shape and power to the elemental residues around us. The book says the temple isn't even that far from here. Somewhere around the fork in the Serpent's Kiss River. If you're looking to get to the bottom of the corruption, I'd start there. Whoa, look at that. Plus two prosperity. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, she's one scenario away from retiring. Okay, eight. Eight out of fourteen. Okay, city encounter. Agree to guard the gates. Ten collected gold. Okay, so she doesn't need it. He doesn't really need it. Now Tina really needs it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Volatile bomb, let's see. Ah, a single range attack turn into AoE. Okay. I mean, it's a letter. Uh, letter. 
it's a lesser version of unstable explosive huh, actually um you know what let's actually sell the water bomb we actually have like volatile bombs in stock and seeing that she actually has you know she has some gold to you know she has some gold to do shopping so let's actually buy something like that the volatile bomb uh let's see or maybe i can like um usually she uses long con right let's look for something that complements that attack AOE with burning oil with this and this. Or I can use versatile deck, but nah, that is actually dumb. Uh, Warhammer. Yeah, let's just do it. Just buy volatile bomb. Let's actually equip it on her left hand or hand two, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. I mean, whatever, right? I mean, it's better than having none. Yeah, there we go. That's good. We we did it. We cleansed the water pumps. Did we actually... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Did we actually unlock a new scenario? Vault of Secrets. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. The City Archer and City Guard. Right, so... Oh, this is very interesting. Um, I have faced these enemies before and it's actually quite fun they are actually quite strong and I was you know, uh, relatively excited to show all of you how these guys fight so yeah I'm actually looking forward to this scenario but let's see what else can we do deep ruins search the sewer depths for this poison source wait then we actually did we did this one already Huh. Okay. Plane of night. Have hail examine examine the strange artifact. Syndicate hideout. Work with the night shroud to stop this assassin syndicate. Gaining purchase in Gloomhaven. Ah, this is interesting. Cultist. Bandit guard. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Th this looks interesting. Whoa, look at that. Three treasure chests. Now, I know for a fact that this game is a troll sometimes, right? So, one of them is definitely a good treasure chest. One of them is probably something something not so important, like, you know, EXP or 20 gold or something like that. But the other one is definitely a trap. <laughs> like, a 5 damage trap or something. Hopefully it's, hopefully, it's not the case, but I think I know for sure one of them is a trap. And the other ones are just loot. Okay, so yeah, uh, next episode we'll we'll be doing Syndicate Hideout, and let's see what this scenario is about. Because we have the Night Shroud, and the Night Shroud wants to help us to stop these baddies. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed us cleansing the water pumps. So in the next episode, we'll be doing this scenario. So I hope you look forward to it. So yeah. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. And so that you can, you know, watch some more stuff that I make. So yes, and with that said, stay shiny, my friends. Have a good night. Bye-bye.